Welcome, Lego enthusiasts, to Heart of a Kid Productions. As I always say, as long as you have the heart of a kid, you can enjoy everything and everything. So let's get into my new set from BrickLink order I got. So check it out without further ado. Uh, I only ordered one. There was a bunch of sets I actually really wanted from that that wave, but this is one that I was like, I was like, you know what? It's I think it was 400 bucks. And I was like, I want this. And the only reason I wanted it was because I love the train station. I thought, you know, we don't really have an awesome kind of crazy big train station. I have a couple train station types where there were old classics ones where you kind of drive by and there was even one that was kind of like a little thing that went up the stairs kind of like this old school and then comes down. Um, so that was all right where you can go under. But when I saw this build, I thought, man, now that's a train station. That reminds me of like New York City when I actually went to the main train station out there um, when I was a TDY, when I was in the military. I, uh, me and a bunch of students went on a day off, went and hung out in New York. And um, it was awesome to go to, I think it was Grand Central Station. And I remember the windows. I remember, you know, just the, the, the big awe of it. You know, it was, it was really amazing. So to... When I saw this one, you know, as one of the items that was voted for, I was like, all right, I need to get this. So, um, yeah. And the, the crazy thing is you're like, oh, cool, I'm going to I'm going to get it, but I don't have to pay for it later. And then when it was finally time, I was like, oh, man, do I have the money because they're going to pull it from my account, you know, so because you're spending in at the end of the day. You don't know when they're actually going to pull it. That's that's the one problem I have. I think I have with these waves is. A lot of times I wish that, you know, you had a hundred percent like, hey, this month that money is coming out because they kind of let you know that, hey, we're sending them. But sometimes I think one of my sets uh, for my bowling alley that I still haven't built, I wanted to build it, but I just been so busy and buying other things and it just ended up in my closet, um, which is what probably this one will do because right now I don't have room or space. But uh, I remember when my bowling alley was set to come out and people were saying, oh, they've already got theirs. I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to I'm going to get charged for my bowling alley. And so I was like, OK, yeah, they're sending them out. And then I was waiting and I think mine didn't get charged for like um, two months or three months after they said they were released. So every month I was like, OK, I have the money. I'm not spending this extra money in my account because I need to make sure it's in there. So when they pull it, it's there. So, you know, the bowling alley was like two something. This one was 400 bucks uh, plus tax, I, look, I think. Uh, so at the end of the day, when they said, hey, they're going to be pulling for this. And I saw people already getting them. I was like, oh, man, I got to make sure I got that money. And it was kind of like, well, I just bought a bunch of Lego and now I got to you know, make sure I had the cash in the account. So when it did pull, whether that was this, th that month, the next month, or two months later, and I'm like, I wish they would just say, hey, your account is going to be withdrawn within the next two weeks. And it actually occurred. So, so that is one pet peeve I have about this program. I love it. I love that we get to design our own mocks and uh, people actually get a chance to buy um, the sets they want that they've seen that didn't make the ideas list. And this was one that I really liked. I liked the observatory. That was really cool too. The, the diner was really cool. Those are two I wish I could have got also, but at the same time, if you're buying multiple and that adds up and you're spending a thousand bucks in one month for sets that they all get pulled at the same time, you know, that's just, sometimes people don't have that kind of money just laying in their account when they got bills to pay. So especially with inflation, everything changes. You don't know what's going to happen in a year when they finally pull this money, where you're going to be sitting or if you're going to have extra money or if you already spent it because you didn't realize they were pulling it that month. So, so it's something you just have to be ready to be like, okay, a couple months, it should be coming. Be ready. Start saving up, putting money aside to make sure there isn't an issue. I know some people that I actually watched or talked about, talked with, they actually have a separate account where they have money for the exact amount that they're they're expecting or a little bit more uh, just to cover and it pulls from that account so there is no issue and that's really smart. So that's something I, I'm thinking about because uh, I know they're selecting the new wave and there was a couple interesting sets um, that are probably going to make the top five and uh, right now there's one in particular that I actually want to get 
Um, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a couple hundred bucks. So that'll be one that I'll try to order uh, for the future. But right now I got this one. Like I said, I didn't get the observatory. You know what was great on this wave? Because I think this was the second wave was the construction building. And that was another one. I was like, man, I could have ordered that one. And it was really interesting because it was kind of a, a facade, something worked on, but it was pricey too. So it was like, like, which one do I really want to spend my money in on and hope that I don't go, you know, not able to afford it when it comes time. And I was like, I got to pick one. So I think every wave I, because I don't have the money to just throw out there. And even if I were to resell them and make some profit, that's great. But I don't have the money to just throw out there. You know, I'm, I'm not a big investor. I'm a collector for myself. Sometimes I'll buy an extra uh, to sell later in the future for certain things. Um, something small, but nothing crazy. Cause I, I just, I don't have bulks of money just running in, you know, I work hard for what I want and what I get and obviously enjoy. But at the end of the day, you know, this was one that I wanted. And I was like, I'm going to get it and order it. And I ended up getting it. So it, it's really great because it's an awesome looking building. Like I said, it reminds me of Grand Central Station in uh, New York City. If I'm misquoting, uh, it's been years since I've been there. So I hope it's called Grand Central Station. I think I'm accurate. But at the end of the day, I know somebody who, who might be watching who's from New York and be like, that's not even what it's called, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm not, I'm from California, you know. I visited places all over the world. Sometimes I misquote things, but, but yeah. I got this set. It looks amazing. Um, I know I saw on um, uh, one of the YouTubers that I watch, Brixie. Yeah, he actually built it. It's in his city. He has an amazing city. So if you haven't seen it, you know, go check out Brixie. You know, I, I'm just a, you know, 44-year-old guy, you know, just building stuff, things I don't enjoy, buying stuff that I enjoy. Um, and I have a nice big space, but I have so many other collectibles and I haven't bought tables to kind of you know, build a small little eight foot by eight foot, you know, section for, for a little smaller city. I have a seven foot by three foot table in my other room, you know? Um, but right now, yeah, his channel and he has this built and I think he did a review on it. I don't, I don't remember watching his review on it, but, but he has it in his city. It looks really good. Um, so I'm glad I have this for my collection, but right now it, it I have no place for it. So it's just one of my collection collectibles that I got and it looks really beautiful and I, I'm glad the designer did a great job and that he actually was uh yeah I guess his uh, name's right there designed by uh, Pablo Sanchez uh, I don't know how to say his last name um, but but yeah yeah did a great job I'm glad he uh, was able to uh, get his uh, idea selected in the brain click program and like I said the next wave I'm probably gonna order one uh, if not two depending on the prices you know if I if I can get one great um, and that, that's usually the way it is. I'll just get one, but yeah, there was always more sets that I'm like, man, I want, I want that one too. And I want that one too, but you know, it, it is what it is, but yeah, this, this thing looks amazing uh, and it comes with, uh, those smaller trains. Um, now the trains I don't really care for. Um, it's more about the train station. And for me, I might actually, uh, if I do build this in the future, I have trains from like the horizon express that I have and other sets. So I would hope they'd fit on here really cool and go through this which I think they do um, so that'd be really great to have other trains other than what they have on display or that uh, came with this set because because yeah those are kind of you know just general you know your regular train station trains but I have other trains that I would love to put in there you know real real top of the line you know trains commuter trains and stuff like that anyways guys I just wanted to talk about this um, this one I got a while back a couple months ago and uh, finally just talking about how amazing I think it is let me turn this around see if there's anything amazing on the back for you guys oh yeah so there's a different view yeah so you can see the trains uh man the chandelier in there that is awesome see the guy who designed this man what what great detail and I love I love this the windows that was the thing and I love the stairs that lead up and around and then obviously the walk through the area and the areas to enter and stuff like that. And then he had a little patio over there. So, so this set, when I saw it, I was like, this is, this is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful and it's the same track. So yeah, the other trains will fit. It's just the height of the trains, which I think should be fine with the chandeliers and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, the guy who designed this did such a great job and it, it looks beautiful. It really detailed. Uh, I love it. I think it'll look great. Um, once built and like I said I've seen it on another channel and it looked awesome so I'm glad I have this for my collection and hopefully uh, someday in the near future I'll be able to build it and 
place it. And even if I build it and then be like, this is awesome, look at it, put a train in it, have it on display somewhere for, you know, a couple months and be like, all right, I, I need to make more room for other stuff and then put it back in the box. But other than that, you know, it, it is a beautiful piece. So I'm glad I have it. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, let me know if you picked up anything from the Bricklick program or what's your favorite set out of the, actually the first two waves or the new wave that's coming up. I know they've already posted some videos about uh, some of the sets that people are uh, going to be uh, uh, voting on. So which one do you want to actually get to the next round? Because this is this is one I wanted and I'm glad I got it. There's other ones that are coming in the new waves. There's stuff that came out in the originals. Wish I would have got, but you know, it is what it is. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching again. Please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Comment. You know, I love interacting with people. Um, so if you have something to say, let me know. If, uh, if Let me know what you guys think of my videos. Let me know if uh, I could do something better. I know I'm just, I don't edit. I don't have this crazy, you know, intro and anything. I'm old school, you know, I, that was my own personal drawing of my Heart of Kid productions and, you know, something simple and something I do for fun. So at the end of the day, I'm not trying to make a million bucks, you know, doing this stuff. If if I do make a million bucks doing this, I, I don't make anything on this. This is my hobby. This is something that I just do to just try to put out there what I think and what I like. So, you know, but if you're able to make money doing something you love, that's even better, you know, and I have a, a job that I do on the side part time and I actually love what I do, you know, and it's great. I work with some amazing people and, you know, we, we, we enjoy what we do every day. So, and this is something, you know, if I could do this for a living for the rest of my life and make, you know, good money where it actually, you know, helped pay my bills and stuff like that. Or, or actually, it probably would be great just to make enough money doing this so I can buy more Lego. So, you know, that that's just, that would be a perk, you know, like, hey, I'm making money while I'm doing this, something that I actually love, and I'm getting to buy more Lego and make and create more things, you know. So I, I know a lot of people actually do make some good money doing this stuff, um, and that's a primary job. So I'm retired Air Force at the end of the day, you know. I could make this my full time, but I would have to be able to get paid to do it to where I, I'm making some, you know, extra money to cover other things, which is why I'm working on my uh, uh, other job right now, because, you know, everything's gone up, including Lego, you know, it's not just Lego, but food, gas, everything. So, you know, hopefully everything gets better here in the near future. And, uh, you know, prices on stuff come back down and we can kind of live comfortably. And that just means more toys for me and my kids. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry I got on a rant, but uh, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I, I love hearing from you guys and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.